Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and this is my book haul! <laughs> Okay, so these are all the books that I have received or bought since my last book haul. And I honestly don't remember when that was. I think it was over the summer. And again, this stack is not that large. Um, and that's just because I have been very conscious about what I've been buying. Um, I'm currently trying to save up money for a car. So right now, car trumps books. And so I've been utilizing my library and Kindle Unlimited way more than I normally do because of that. But a bunch of these, mo the majority of these were sent to me, which is amazing. Um, this includes all the books that I got for my birthday back in September. And a few of these were sent by authors. So let's dive right on into these books. First, we have the books that were sent by my lovely friend Izzy. She ended up sending me a few books, which is so amazingly kind of her. She sent me Can't Help Falling by Cara Stone. I have read this book. This is the second book to um, Just a Heartbeat Away. I loved this one. This was a very slow burn kind of enemies to lovers or enemies to friends to lovers romance and I adore this one. Something funny about this book is that there's no dog in this story, so I don't know why there's a dog on the cover. I think that's just hilarious. Um, but thank you so much, Izzy, for getting this one for me. I love adding books to my collection that I've already read. You know, I feel like it's like an accomplishment when you get a new book, but you've already read it. You can just put it on the shelf that you, because you've already read it. I love it. And then I was spoiled with a bunch of Tessa Dare books, y'all. Uh, she got me two of them. She got me Beauty and the Blacksmith, and she got me Lord Dashwood Missed Out. These two little novellas for my collection over here. And thank you so much, Izzy. This was so nice. I've already read both of these. These are both part of this Spindle Cove series. This one is a different social class romance. Um, our heroine is kind of like a well-to-do lady and she is in love with the town blacksmith, even though her mother wants her to be with a well-to-do guy but she can't help but be in love with the blacksmith she'll even break her own jewelry to go to see him for him to fix it it is so cute and then this one is lord dashwood missed out the hero kind of rejected the heroine a couple years ago and she decides to write this um essay kind of saying like lord ashwood missed out instead of saying his real name which is lord dashwood and um people kind of put two and two together about who she's talking about but basically it was like an essay talking about how much this guy is gonna miss from rejecting her and it kind of goes like viral in the <laughs> community that she's in and this is a story of kind of like Lord Dashwood wanting to get her back. Both of these are great novellas. I really enjoyed them so thank you so much Izzy for all three of these books. You freaking spoiled me for my birthday so thank you so much. My lovely friend Nicole over at Who Picked This Book then sent me Hearts of Flame by Johanna Lindsay with the very stained edges. Uh, she messaged me a couple weeks before my birthday and was like hey I found some Johanna Lindsay's do you want any and I was like yes I would love one but I'm not buying any books for myself until my birthday so I can't buy one yet and she's like okay great I'll just hold on to it for you so she just sent it to me anyway I was gonna buy one and she was like no I'm just gonna send it to you for your birthday as a birthday gift so thank you so much Nicole I love you um I've already thanked all these people by the way but I just love them so much um but I don't know anything about this book but it is very beautiful and um I haven't read any Johanna Lindsay's yet even though I own quite a few but she left me a very nice note and this was just so sweet of her to send this book my way it is just honestly gorgeous so thank you so much Nicole again then Tori over at Novel Life ended up sending me two books for my birthday um, I got another Tessa Dare book this is the scandalous dissolute no good mr. Wright um, I have not read this one yet I can't wait to dive in um, and add it to my collection so thank you so much Tori I don't know what this one is about I like going into Tessa Dare's books blind but this was so sweet of her and then she also sent me uh, Love in the Library card by Lauren Connolly I believe I had this on my Amazon wish list I can't remember who it was but one of my lovely friends recommended this book and I was like oh I need to get that and I put it on my wish list uh, as a physical form because I think like is a little bit like a dollar more expensive to get the physical book than the ebook. Oh, okay, so it looks like uh, these two people found like the ultimate studying spot at their university's library and they're kind of like vying for the spot in the library. I don't know, this sounded just super fun. A library romance, are you kidding me? A dream come true, a dream come true. So thank you so much, Tori, for these two books. I love you so much. I then got The Savior by J.R. Ward. This was sent to me by my lovely friend, Madison Mary over at Princess and Paperback. I love Madison Mary so much. So thank you so much. I love you. Uh, she wrote on her card that she knew that I was collecting these books. And I love this one, a part of the series. This is a part of the Black Decker Brotherhood series, if you didn't know. And so she sent it my way. Um, and I cannot thank her enough. Thank you so much, Madison Mary. I can't 
wait to add it to my bookshelf over here. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this book so much. Then the last book that was sent to me by one of my lovely friends is my friend Zay over at Witty Reads on Instagram. I love her so much. She is so sweet. She ended up sending me Guarding Temptation by Talia Hibbert the perfect gift. I love Talia Hibbert so much, but I haven't read this one yet and it's very, very, very short. So thank you so much today. I can't wait to dive on into this. I think this one has like a bodyguard-esque hero in here or something. And I think it's also brother's best friend. If I'm not mistaken, something along those lines, I may be totally wrong, but I can't wait to dive into this. She just redid all of the covers, like a lot of her covers. And this one's just like so pretty. I love it. So thank you so much today for sending this one to me. Okay, then we're going to talk about the three books that were sent to me by authors. Uh, the first one is a Missile Text by Whitney Dean and Melanie Summers. This is a Christmas romance where she is her personal shopper and he is a grumpy boss man and I think they end up falling in love with one another. Um, this sounded super cute. The author reached out to me on TikTok and well, one of the authors did and she sent me a whole box of goodies. Um, I don't have them on me. They're currently like scattered around my room. I had to give unfortunately some of the food that was in the box away because I couldn't eat it, but it was a very sweet and kind gesture. But um, like this was in the box, for example, like a very fuzzy, cute blanket. Uh, but this just sounded super fun and Christmas season is right around the corner. So I can't wait to read this whenever I have the time over winter break. This book was sent to me and I am so incredibly excited. We have uh, Demystifying Disability by Emily Ledoux. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm so sorry. Um, this is an approachable guide to being a thoughtful and informed ally to disabled people with actionable steps for what to say and do and what not to do and how you can help make the world a more accessible inclusive place like isn't this cover just everything y'all i just can't wait to dive into this um, as someone who is a big advocate for those with disabilities this book i feel like is just going to be amazing and if you want to learn about people with disabilities i bet this one would just be amazing i need to check this one out it just Oh, I'm so excited. It looks so amazing. I just the cover is like my favorite thing. Like are you joking? Like that is so cool. Um, so thank you so much. The author reached out to me to send this to me and oh Thank you so much. And lastly, uh, Lauren Landish reached out to me on TikTok and she was like I'd love to send you one of my books. Which one do you want? And I was like, how about the Book that has the most chili peppers, you know, and she was like, okay, I got you. So she sent me a uh, dirty talk <laughs> So this is a romance between our heroine and a guy named uh, Derek, and I believe he is the host of a radio show that gives people advice on what to do in the bedroom. And I think it's the romance between the two of them, and that sounds super fun. Are you kidding me? Um, so I can't wait to dive on into this. Uh, this cover is hot, and hopefully the book is hot itself too, Lauren Landish very graciously signed it for me um also the this book is signed too um i forgot to mention this book is signed too um and yeah this just looks so fun and hopefully i have the time to read it i need to see if her books are on audio because i fly through books on audio way faster but um yeah Thank you so much Lauren Landish for sending this one my way. And then the rest of the books are all um, books that I bought myself for my birthday. I decided to splurge myself and pick out five books that I wanted for my collection that I've already read. All of these are indie books because you know me, I'm an indie lover. So they were a little more expensive than regular books. <laughs> First I have All In by Emma Scott. I did not own the uh, second book in the duet and I needed it because this book series cannot just be the first book because it can't. If you just read the first book, you will be not satisfied at all. And so you need to read book two to love the series in general. I love this series so much. And so I definitely need this for my collection. Uh, this is the second book to uh, Full Tilt, if you didn't know. And that one is about a rock star named Casey. And she meets a limo driver named Jonah and they fall in love. And this is the next book in this series. So the series is so good. And I just needed the second book for my collection. I of course needed one of my favorite books, which is That Kind of Guy by Talia Hibbert. Um, it's been in that display for quite a while uh, because I just love this book because the heroine has my chronic illness and I felt so seen while reading this. This is about Zach and Ray. They have an age gap romance. She is a little bit older than him. Uh, she also has a scar on her face. Um, you learn about why when you read the book. Ray needs a date to a writer's convention because her ex-husband is going to be there with his new wife and Zach's like, okay, I can pre pretend to be your boyfriend. Um, and so they fake date at this writer's convention and it is super fun. I love this one. I feel like I get to fully see myself in Ray and 
oh, I just loved this so much. So I needed to get it for my collection. Next is Nerdgasm by Kimberly Reese. I just needed this copy because oh, it's one of my favorite books of the year. It is so good. This is a college romance about Theo and Addie. Theo is a TA and Addie is one of the students in the class he is a TA for. And once Addie sees Theo, she just wants him so she goes after him and it is so cute you have a sweet innocent hero innocent hero um who has a stutter and a woman who just wants him so badly and it is so amazing an amazing college romance that i adore then i have always only you by chloe lease uh oh my gosh i read this one earlier this year and just needed a physical copy because it is so good this is about frankie and ren frankie is kind of like the pr manager for this hockey team that ren is on ren has been longing over frankie for years and years and years um and then one day frankie's house gets broken into and ren offers his house for her to stay in while they repair her door and everything and by them being in a forced proximity with one another they're forced to kind of like reveal their feelings for one another because frankie is very attracted to Ren. <laughs> um, Frankie also in here um, has rheumatoid arthritis and um, she's on the autism spectrum. Um, so there's a bunch of great diversity in this book. Um, in the series in general, the series is great with the diversity. This book is just so good. This book is, I don't know what's my favorite in the series, but it's very close to, I think, maybe being my favorite in the series. I haven't really looked into it, um, but I just love this one so much. Very amazing grumpy sunshine romance and then lastly i bought myself when she belongs by ruby dixon look are you ready for how thick this book is this book is big <laughs> um i read this one earlier this year and just fell in love and i was like what book by ruby dixon do i need to add to my collection and this it has been one of my favorites this year. Um, this is one of her books in the Rizdiverse series. Uh, this is one of her alien romance series. Uh, it's not a part of Ice Planet Barbarians. Um, it's a different romance series uh, all about space pirates and living in space and human women falling in love with aliens. This is about Sophie and Jerok and Sophie ends up being stranded on this old asteroid that Jerok lives on. Jerok lives on um, and Jerok is the grump and Sophie is the sunshine and this is just about Sophie breaking down Jerox walls and him completely becoming smitten for Sophie like this is the epitome of a grumpy sunshine romance this is it oh it is beautiful amazing and I needed it for my collection I love Ruby Dixon so much so I needed to add one of her books for my birthday so there you have it those are all of the books that I ended up uh getting buying within the past couple months i'm personally not buying any more books until christmas <laughs> so uh we'll see if i if i can keep that rule for myself um i think i can i'm so busy i don't go to any bookstores anyway so please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to or what you thought of them or any of these your favorite books please let me know down below in the comments but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all